Today's video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free with no minimum purchase and international shipping is discounted. They are also home of the daily deal so be sure to check that out and be sure to sign up for their rewards program. I'll be using the Stamp Pendus House Mouse Stamp and it is called Strawberry Treat and I'm going to make a chalkboard looking card and that's just a piece of brown card stock and it's five and a half by four and a quarter and that's a lawn fawn rectangle die and I'm going to I want to cut a frame so I'm going to center that and then I will put some washi tape on it and then I will run it through my die machine so I get a rectangular frame And there's my frame all cut out. That's just an easy way to make a frame. And then I'm going to take some Distress Ink and that is a uh, brushed corduroy. And I'm just, I want this to kind of look, look like wood so I'm just taking the mini ink pad and I'm rubbing it along the edge of the frame so then it, it looks like wood. And you don't have to be perfect with this because wood grains aren't perfect. But in my opinion, this uh, really works well. You can't even tell that you just did it by hand. <laughs> it kind of looks like the paper was supposed to be that way. So that's how I am going to make a wood frame uh, looking uh, frame. Here it is all inked up and doesn't that look like wood? And here's some black cardstock, and I've just cut that into a standard A2 size card. And I'm going to put that in my uh, stamping tool. And I have that in my stamping tool. And then I'm going to use the Hero Arts White Pigment Unicorn Ink. And I'm just going to ink up that stamp. And there it is all stamped up and it kind of looks like uh, somebody drew it on chalkboard. So I thought that would make a fun card. And because the stamp has a lot of shading in it, that mouse of the stamp looks kind of goofy because it's supposed to be shaded, you know, uh, or have stippling in the mouth of like a gray color. So I'm just going to take a Memento Tuxedo, uh, Memento, uh, Tuxedo Black ink pen a marker pen and I'm going to dot the inside of that mouth so it doesn't look so white. And there to me that looks a little bit better so I'm going to leave that like that. And there's the frame and I'm just going to use some art glitter glue and I'm going to glue this frame onto that uh, black card that I just stamped. There we go. Now it kind of looks like an old fashioned or vintage uh, chalkboard. I thought it would be fun to make a fake piece of chalk. So that piece of paper is just a computer piece of paper and it's about three inches long and one and a half inches wide and then I am going to roll it as tight as I can roll it and then I will glue the flap down so it doesn't come unrolled with our glitter glue. And now I'm seeing if that'll just work and I think it will. So I, I don't know if this is gonna look nice or if it's gonna look goofy, but I thought I'd do it anyway. This is a waffle flower die and it's called Hi, Hey, and Hello Word Die. And I'm going to cut that out twice, the hello with the black cardstock and the white cardstock. I'll do that with my Big Shot. And once I have those cut out, I'm going to glue that, um, that paint splash streak um, onto the corner of my card and I use art glitter glue to do that. And then I need the white hello. So I'm going to uh, put that, those letters back into the negative spaces of that die. 
and I'm using uh, my little pick tool and art glitter glue to do that and then I'm also I saved the middle of that black um, O from the first cut to put back into the middle of the O there it's all finished except for me gluing that little piece of chalk on the corner there and I'll just use my art glitter glue for that all finished and there is my chalkboard card and I'm leaving the inside blank because I don't know who this is going to be for but I'll probably I'll probably write a message in white gel pen on the inside of the card and remember the supplies I listed will be linked below and be sure to check out Tupelo Designs Facebook page they have lots of challenges going on and I will link that in the description also thanks for watching bye